Today, my topic is self-esteem. Hmm. Why, why self-esteem? Well, before I go, I just want you to remember this quote. Hmm? A thousand miles begins with a single step. A thousand miles begins with a single step. So why do I choose self-esteem? Well, first of all, I, it's something I read about and I realized that a lot of marketers, not only marketers, but now because I'm focusing on marketers, a lot of them, a lot of people are experiencing this problem, self-esteem, yeah? And what does this get to do with business? So, um, you know, um, the thing is, I got to realize that a lot of marketers are experiencing this and they are, they are struggling with this problem. And this is obvious because um, that's why it's, it's, it becomes obvious because a lot of people, when you find out that your business is stagnant, especially if you are doing business online or maybe you're a network marketer, you find out that at some point your business is very, very stagnant. I'm encouraging you to really listen to this video. Maybe you can see yourself in this video. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> big, um, today I'm going to share with you what self-esteem is and the two types of self-esteem um, we know about or I'm going to share with you and what it is and what it is not and also how you can develop um, self-esteem, the, the, the positive self-esteem, and also um, what self-esteem means for your business. Yeah. So, um, you know, first of all, self-esteem is the opinion you have about yourself, the opinion you have for, for yourself. Yeah. How you feel or how you think about yourself so there are two types of self-esteem the first one is you know like if you feel you are competent and maybe you are you you are kind you think you feel that you are good looking or maybe you are capable capable of doing things these are signs that you have a positive or high self-esteem the other type of self-esteem is um, if you have like negative opinion about yourself and you feel um, that you cannot do certain tasks or certain skills like maybe other people are doing or maybe you think that you don't, you don't really look good like others, you have negative thoughts about yourself, this is a sign of low self-esteem. Hmm? Because, you know, sometimes low self-esteem can become the cause of anxiety and depression. Mm? And therefore, self-esteem is now um, is how you think about yourself and like um, how worthy you think you are and how much importance you give to yourself. Mm? So, but it is not, the thing is, the self-esteem, it is not like when you brag, like bragging about yourself. It is rather knowing that you can do best, you know, even if maybe you think you're not perfect at some things, certain things, but you know that you can do best. This is the self-esteem I'm talking about, yeah? That, which is the positive self-esteem I want to focus on. It's not like the one you brag about yourself, think that, we are more than other people. No, that's not the one I'm focusing on. Yeah. Um, because this self-esteem I'm talking about is mainly like the positive ones. Yeah. So what is the importance of low self-esteem? What effect does low self-esteem have on us when we are experiencing that? Good evening, Ellen. How are you this evening? Thanks for joining in. So what is the effect, the negative effect, low self-esteem can have on us? Well, first of all, um, it can make us um, lose the ability of making decisions, yeah? And also it can cause us to have the feeling of 
you know, not being respected and maybe not cherished by other people. We can start to have this feeling like maybe other people don't respect us and they don't cherish us, yeah? And it can also make us to uh, make want to develop a sense of dependence on other people. Like, you know, especially like on simple things. Instead of we taking the initiative to do things, we depend on other people to like take the first step do things and then we are at the back following that is also the negative impact self-esteem can have on us and it can also cause one to always have the feeling of like pressure while doing tax you always want to do quick 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 and get it done with or maybe you are too much in a hurry to get things done and it can also cause frustration and also the feeling of like feeling helpless in certain things and it can also cause you um, cause one to have a poor performance. Maybe if you're a student going to school, you perform poorly in school or maybe poorly at work or especially in a business area as well. It can affect your business performance as well. Yeah. And one thing that we have to realize is that it's extremely difficult to, ex um, to experience the joy of life if we have if we are experiencing negative thoughts about ourselves we will not experience the joy of life yeah so if you you always feel negative about yourself and have this low self esteem you will never realize your success potentials yeah and you will never feel happy in life because you will always think that you can't you can't you can't always like looking down upon yourself that you cannot do anything, even though maybe most probably you are also doing business online or maybe offline as well. And, you know, even things around you that are perfect, you will never have the, the chance to enjoy them um, if we always have the same uh, negative thoughts about ourselves. Yeah. So how what about high uh, self-esteem? How can it change one life? Well, a person with high self-esteem sees everything in a positive view. And they always, they're always confident about, um, about what they are doing and also about enjoying life. They're always confident about that. And also, um, even if like they experience hardship and difficulties like comes their way, they always see it as a, as a challenge in life. But they never like, go down and try to think negative about themselves even though they experience this difficulty in life yeah so when you have high self-esteem you will always feel confident to say what you want to say yeah and how you feel and this is very very important especially for ones who are in network marketing because it will help you to when you have high self-esteem you will not be fear to approach anyone to talk to anyone to get connected to anyone so it is very very important with high self-esteem yeah and then um you will all but the thing is um that everybody experience um ups and down roller coaster in our life sometimes we have a good day sometimes we have bad days yeah we are Whereas you think, okay, today is not going well. Even people with high self-esteem experience roller coaster life up and down. It's, it's common for everybody, yeah? But that doesn't mean when we experience this um, roller coaster in our life, ups and down, it doesn't mean that um, one has to start thinking negative about our oneself, yeah? And... Also, if you always have the feeling of like maybe um, not worthy of doing something, you have to have the courage to try new things and succeed in life. It takes courage when you have this kind of negative feeling or low self-esteem. It takes courage to start new things in life. Yeah, I'm going to show you because this is something I've also like experienced at some point in my life 
yeah and especially when it comes to like starting with business and if you feel that um, you have a low self-esteem i want to promise you that you don't need to worry too much about that because there's always because there is always a, a way to to overcome that yeah and um and these ways can help you to like build your self-confidence or your self-esteem and one way you can start by overcoming low self-esteem is for example you can start by maybe jotting down or writing down things that you know you are um, you feel good about yourself at or maybe things you know you are good at hmm? and this will make you begin to feel good about yourself and also things that you have done that you know you have success in and also the positive compliments that you get from people think about those things all the positive compliments someone has given you maybe for something you've done good or maybe just somebody see you or whatever they give you compliments think about this um these things the positive ones yeah you know that's um and this will make you like start to feel good about yourself and it can be like a motivation for you and also maybe it can be maybe if you're working in a office what you can also do you can like for example paste uh you know these sticky notes on your desktop your computer or maybe your desk and with the words like maybe saying i can do this or i'm doing well at whatever so seeing these things every day can help you to like increase or develop your self-esteem mm -hmm. and this will always motivate you to want to do more yeah and why is this so important in the aspect of business well if you if if you if you are into business if especially if you're into network marketing network marketing is people's business people do business with people they know like and trust and with network marketing it is not the company that do business with the people but it is you and um, people that do business with people so by doing business it means you have to be connecting to um, with other people so when you have low self-esteem that will be an hindrance that will be a block a um, roadblock for your business because you will always have this fear you will always have this um, setback of meeting someone approaching someone to introduce your business to introduce your business opportunity to them this will make you um, at some point if one is not careful you will give up completely on your business so that's why for you to be able to grow your business self-esteem is very very important because you will always be connecting with people on the internet it can also be offline as well connecting with people offline so if you don't have high self-esteem or you don't have confidence it will be very difficult it will be very difficult for you to to um to connect with other people because then you will be thinking what should i say how should i say this oh i don't think i'm good enough to approach this person but no you are good enough to approach anyone if even it's the president when you have high self-esteem you can approach anybody so that's why it's very very important to build your self-esteem whether you are doing business online or whether you are doing business offline especially when it gets to do with network marketers it is very important because it is people's business because your business will grow the more you bring other people into your business the more you expose your network marketing business to other people and you only do that by talking by communicating with others so if you feel if you have the feeling um, of uh, um, low self-esteem, to be honest, it's going to be a struggle for you. Because the reason I've been also talking with a lot of um, online marketers as well that have been communicating back and forth. And most of them are suffering from this. Most of them. Sometimes I can even experience where sometimes you try to like encourage them, you can do this. They like all of a sudden like put a wall. 
between you and them because they see that it it is impossible but this is something i've also struggled with before but because i did all this um this different trainings and it helps me very very greatly very very greatly it helped me because before i remember when i started in this industry my very first video even when it was only two minutes for me it's like it's hours long video because i record and delete i think more than 50 times because i'm thinking oh i don't think it's good enough oh what will people say oh what i begin to find a lot of excuses oh i'm not good enough but because i also have someone who also give me this confidence and help me to build this confidence now i'm on facebook live it, if it was before i will two minute video i can't much more to say facebook live but because i've worked over this it's helped me to i can approach anybody and talk to you about my business opportunity i know there is only two outcome of it either you says okay i will look at it or either you says no thank you then i move on to the next person but i know there are lots and lots of million people who are struggling with their with their business or who are looking for business or who are looking for ways to get their business to the next level so if you don't have self self esteem you can never approach this ones you can never talk to people about your business expose your your business opportunity to other people then it means you have no business but for your business to be very su successful it is very very important for you to have self esteem if you don't have it now i will encourage you to listen to this video or maybe check on youtube as well there are a lot of trainings you can go through on how you can develop your self esteem that will help your business to grow if you don't have self esteem then it will it will be very difficult because the thing is what it's very important you have to remember is that everybody is gifted with the ability to grow and to do great things everybody have it and everybody is worthy for me i'm not i'm not more than anyone and i don't see anyone more than me i see we are all the same but it depends on the individual the effort you put in your work for me that's where the difference comes in but nobody is more than me neither i'm, I'm not more than anybody no we are all humans we are all, we all have the equal ability to do things yeah and if you see um if you see that you have by listening to this video if you see some of the trace in thank you so, thank you so much thank you city for joining and sandra as well and tabita you are all very very welcome yeah and if you see yourself in this video in this topic just listen to it once again and try to take action immediately especially if you are doing business or maybe you're in school or maybe you're in work you find out that maybe your performance is very very low it's very very important for you to to develop your self-esteem because me i tell you where i'm working all of the people i'm working with to be honest they all have double double degrees phd masters but i tell you where they are talking I can talk there. I know the difference is their level of understanding in their education is different. But what I know, if I focus on learning those things, I can also get my experience. I can also give an input. Because the thing is, I, all my grandmom used to say many, many years that it's sense that make book. It is not book that makes sense. So all the books that we are reading, most people have done research things that they think about the thoughts they had do it over and over again and then they put it in writing so you took you have that ability to do things like that so you're not less than anyone not that no one is more than you hmm? so when you put this into practice you will find out that your self-esteem will be um, will develop your self-confidence will develop and your business eventually will skyrocket when you do that yeah so that's all i have for you today friends um all of you i just want to thank all of you who join in and then um 
if you are maybe you're just joining in and you are very new it's the first time you viewing with me please i would love for you to to say where you come from down at the comment section and your name and i would love to connect with you or maybe if maybe you will be watching the recording later i will still also love for you to do the same and i will definitely respond to your message immediately yeah so i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful evening and wonderful day tomorrow as well and i'll see you all tomorrow the same time same place facebook live thank you all so much for joining in and all of you who viewed in cd sandra tabitha um ayo as well thank you um ellen all of you who join in i want to thank you all so much and jc you too that join in i want to thank you all so much for joining in so i'll see you guys tomorrow if you have any question or anything you want to know about network marketing marketing online or anything please do contact me my con you can get my information from my um, personal profile my facebook or you can get my or check out my um, business page my facebook business page you can also get me on instagram as well and i'm also on twitter as well and you can get me in on any of this angle as well sometimes i'm on periscope but i'm not so consistent on that one now i'm just focusing on facebook live yeah so i'll see you all tomorrow you all have a wonderful evening and bye for now